All right. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Yeah. So we're going to wait for a few people to come on. And then we're going to kind of quickly review. Um, can we put these in numbers? Yeah. Like we're. Hi, Tootsie Avila. Happy Thursday to you. Hi, uh, Thread Barrel Mama. Or Thread, Thread Barrel Ma. <laughs> How's your Thursday going? We're going to discuss um, briefly um, some stuff about Etsy. So so basically we have a webinar coming up and we've gotten some requests um, from people to talk more about Etsy and we figured, you know, it's a good way. It's going to take more than a live to learn about Etsy. So uh, we have this webinar coming up on August 15th. But, um, but so hold on a second. That's only part one of three. So exactly. every Saturday after August 15th, we will be having um, an Etsy series webinar, so it's n so not the same stuff will be discussed, you know, on each webinar. Yeah. Um, of course, we'll have like a Q and A at the end. Uh, Tootsie Avila says, "Hey to my favorite flipping gals." <laughs> Thanks, uh, Tootsie Avila. Are you on the train now? Good evening, Manny Aguilar. Twenty uh, sixty-seven. 67. Good evening, Sammy Talo and Debbie Griggs. Forty-two. Yeah, what so, are you guys doing? so basically we're just going to kind of um, touch on some topics and like if we don't, if we don't mention something, let us know, you know, so we can include it. So we can take some notes on, um, you know, what to include. We want to be as thorough as possible. Um, Tootsie Avila said, oh shoot, I need to sign up. Yeah, you can sign up. Um, the link is in our bio or go to our website, flippingouts.com. We have a pre-sale of nine bucks going on for the webinar. Um, and it will go back to $25 the day of, which will be August 15th. And Tootsie Avila says, no, didn't go to work, woke up feeling like a cold was coming in. Ay, ay, ay. That's... Please take care of yourself. Yeah. It's important. You're going to be okay. Um, but yes, please rest and get those nutrients and vitamins going. Um, Manny Aguilar 67 said, I'm in already. Yes, you are. So for those of you who are listening on the podcast, um, please DM us if you want to know anything about Etsy. Um, we're actually going to go pretty in depth with the three sessions. So, um, so we're going to give you guys an overview of what we're going to talk about. Yeah. And I don't know if those listening know our name on Instagram is at the flipping gals with the in the front. Yes. Good evening, stable movement. So yeah, so really quickly, we're just gonna start off with some by sharing some stats. So this is kind of how we started on Etsy, and we're fairly um, newbies on Etsy, if you will. Though we started um, a couple years ago, but basically we had our we were working with um, a virtual assistant, and we were not selling on Etsy, and she had experience selling there, and she told us, well, why don't you guys um, you know, sell on Etsy, would you mind if, she's very proactive, would you mind if I posted your things on Etsy? Because, you know, a lot of my clients do really well there. And we're like, okay, sure. Like, you can't lose, right? So, um, so that's how it got started. For a while, there was no movement. But after a while, then, you know, you started to see it. And then we're at the point now where we have Especially in our store, we have a good idea of what is selling. Yeah. And we could always, right, when something's working, you go out and source more of it. So we could always source more and make larger profits. And we're going to share exactly what we've sold and everything like that on our webinar um, workshop series. So, um, yeah. So, okay. So let I want to show you these num this little kind of graph that you could pull off these stats from Etsy, which is really cool. But if you could see there... January of 2019 to January of 2020. Um, July. Even just until where we are now. And I don't know if you could see it because our picture, <laughs> our picture is covering the line, but the line just kind of goes up like that. Um, and certainly, I mean, this also did happen during the pandemic. Um, um, but the stats on Etsy are really great. So you could tell when we started. We started in January of 2019. So I guess we've been at it about a year and a half, right? Yeah. Um, but then with the pandemic and everything, um, things really shot up for us. So we want to make sure that you guys are also profiting from this as well. Yeah. And keep in mind, guys, we weren't very active at all um, last year. So 
Uh, if you look at the chart, there is a reason why the, our sales went up during um, these few months. It's because we're a little bit more aggressive on Etsy and we find the platform um, it's been doing really, really well um, during this time. No, but we've also learned what not what doesn't sell well for us yeah. and then what does. So Correct. keep those things in mind. And that's going to, any new platform that you start on, that's what's going to happen. You're going to end up having like that time where you don't see things move much and then you've hit it, right? The time when you see the numbers go up, it means you've discovered how to, uh, you know how to let that platform really work for you and your business, right? Correct. So let's um so really quickly, and we mentioned this in our in our um, Instagram post. The first workshop we're gonna talk about like if you know Etsy's even relevant, if it's even a relevant platform for you, right? We are actually gonna discuss ten things that are hot, you know, that are selling on Etsy right now. Um, I remember the thing about retail, which we're all a part of as resellers, is that trends are constantly changing. And for that reason, you want to be flexible um, and change along with the trends, right? Um, but then it will be up to you to figure out how you want to do that. Um, we're also going to actually teach, um, teach you how to open your own Etsy shop. So it's going to be very hands-on. You will have um, access to the recordings for a year after um, the recordings um, are done a year after they're live so you can always go back and like pause and play and you know do it at your own pace later on we're also gonna cover on the first webinar how to list your first item on Etsy now I know um, Tootsie Avila you had asked a question on our stories which we did answer about posting on Etsy um, so if you want to check out the answer it's in our stories um, we're also going to discuss um, like what the shipping fees are and break it down, break down all of the costs for you. Mm -hmm. Because the one thing that honestly freaks me out is like, okay, I know what I paid for my item. And you can ask Michelle this because it took us a while to figure out all the breakdown of the costs on Etsy because they're not so clear. But I was like going back and forth with her, asking her every penny where of the costs and the fees and where it came from. And I was not satisfied not knowing that. Mm -hmm. Michelle, on the other hand, different story. But me, I need to know what all the costs are. <laughs> and we're also going to just touch on some um, Etsy's do's and don'ts. So that's going to be a lot for the very first webinar. Um, the webinar should be about 45 minutes with 15-minute Q&A. Um, but, you know, if it tends to go longer, so be it. Yeah. We don't mind um, staying as long as we deliver the information to all of you. Mm -hmm. Um, Tootsie Avila said, I did see it. Thank you. Makes sense to me because I didn't have this lineup. Yeah. And see, that's like another thing I didn't really know either because, you know, Michelle was in charge of, she's basically in charge of shipping and all of that. So when I first got the app, I was like, I don't see anything. And then, you know, there's a seller's app. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's, that's something that I didn't know either. Um, so then the second webinar, and again, if we miss something, Send us a DM on Instagram or let us know in the comments and we will add, make sure to add it and include it in our series. But the second webinar is going to be about more about marketing, branding. Um, branding and promotion. Do you want to talk about that, Michelle? Yeah. So second webinar will be definitely more in depth. So we highly recommend you guys to do the first one before the second one. Um, unless if you guys are familiar with listing and the basics, um, Certainly, you guys are welcome to join the second one. So uh, we're going to talk about keywords, uh, what kind of keywords to use, how to boost your listing, how to make your keywords go um, top of the list. And then we're going to talk about hashtags. Um, you know, many times we see ha a hashtag field uh, when listing. So that's important, actually, very important. Um, and then off-site ads, which is something we touched upon in one of our IG Live. Um, those are very important. They bring us quite a few um, sales. chunk of our sales and revenue. Yeah. And then we're going to talk about Etsy ads. So Etsy ads are different from offsite ads. Um, what <laughs> items to sell. So depending on what you guys are interested in, um, what items to list on there, what works and what, what would do well. And lastly, social media. How do you utilize social media platforms to boost your sales? Yeah, so that's going to be part two. If we missed anything, let us know. Um, but like, let's say that you're already selling on Etsy. 
then and you may not you know you may not need part one but you may be interested in part two um, how to boost those you know sales through marketing branding and promotion and if you don't know Michelle is actually her her career of her entire adult life is in marketing and branding so um, so we're lucky to have her you know be a part of, of that you know for you guys and for Etsy um, it's really been helping us out though actually to have her for our flipping gals um, you know channel and everything um, and we'll talk about so so remember the reason why we do what we do is because we discovered only last year that we can make revenue we can make profit we can make money to build our backyard pay our dog bills reselling and we want to let as many people know because you don't have to struggle for that extra dollar like you just don't so we any information we have we want to you know give it give it to you guys so that you can also get some of that money yeah to help yourselves and just, your families yes just to clarify it's our dog's surgery bill yeah our dog had two surgeries last year it was really helpful to have reselling to help pay for all of those oh bills oh my god yes so much. um okay and then so like then the third part of the series is going to be um about managing your shop did we did we discuss the third one? Is this the one that I recommended to you? Mm -mm. Okay, so now okay, so I'm a little sorry, I'm a little confused, and the and it's not set in I stone. I talk about the third, but part I thought we um I thought it was something else. I sent you I sent you like, okay, sorry guys, we're having a little bit of meltdown. Okay, so Michelle's idea, and I have a different one, is to um how to manage the shop, how to go ahead. So managing your <laughs> shop, um, there are actually a lot of tools you can use on Etsy. Um, so one example is there is a there is a tool that you can use called Marmalade, Marmalade which is um, it, you know it basically you can integrate a lot of tools with your Etsy stores, um, and then dashboard and we're going to talk about how you read your dashboard, how do you analyze your dashboard and how to um, allow your dashboard to help you boost more sales. Um, and also the tools and trends of, um, tools and tools you can use, and also the trends within the platform. There we go, and that's where I was thinking, so that's why I got a little confused, because that was my suggestion, is for part three, we're gonna, we're gonna take third party applications, software programs that will help boost your sales on Etsy and show you guys how to use them, show you how, um, you know, what we do to use them, and how they can also help manage your site. So we're, yeah, it's kind of along the same page there. So um, so that's kind of like in a nutshell, but again, we're still planning and adding, so, you know, let us know if there's something we missed. Yeah. Um, definitely, it's like part one is, you know, more beginning, part two is intermediate, and part three is advanced. So no matter where you are, let's say you're a total beginner and you've never sold on Etsy, um, you know, we're gonna have pre-sales for all of these. So if you get it ahead of time, you'll pay $9 for each one. Um, if, you, if you pay for it the day of, they're $25 each, right? So, but you get to keep this for a year for forever and you guys all know, you guys all know that you can message us at any time with questions. So Manny Aguilar 67 said, nice, much more than I thought it would be. Um, yeah, I mean, good. <laughs> Glad good to hear to that. Know. Yeah, we do. We want to make, we want to help you guys so that, um, so you guys are helping us too because we're learning by sharing our knowledge. Yeah. So and we want to bring as much value to you as we can. We exactly. don't, we don't want to waste your time and um, we want to make sure we bring value to you, right? So we mean it when we say that we highly believe that whatever we do um, relate to you guys are going to help you increase your bottom line and sales revenue and profits um, and that's why we want to do it otherwise we wouldn't be here offering yeah. to do something like that so Fabi's fine said just got my ticket for the webinar can't wait oh thank you so much we're very excited um, for that day when we can uh, meet each other and get get it going this is also a really good time to, to start an Etsy store because and I'm sure you guys have heard it but um, you know, with the pandemic and everything, we're bringing a really fantastic service to people, and um, our sales in the last two months have been 80% of all the revenue we've made all year on Etsy. So everyone can come in and get a piece of, of the pie and keep it going for the rest of the year. Don't stop, 
keep the momentum until momentum until January of 2021 because people will be at home shopping for everything and anything. I got one more thing. Walmart, Target, and all the stores, they're actually closed on Black Friday. Yeah, so that's insane. This is giving us more leverage to sell stuff. So 100%. Isn't that cool? 100%. Yeah, it's really kind of fabulous. Um, good evening, Stay Home Reseller. Happy Thursday. Um, Tootsie Apple is asking, how many members does Etsy have? Mm. Um, I'm pretty sure... Actually, Michelle, can you look it up really fast? It's a good question. Um, Manny Aguilar 67 said, when you provide value to your customers, success follows. Thank you, Manny. Much appreciated. Um, okay, so to answer your question, Tootsie Avila, in 2018, which was two years ago, um, no, those are not users. Though. That's okay. I think she's asking yeah, about but users. Yeah, share that information, too. Yeah, well, they made, um, their Etsy now, lifetime, they have made in the billions of revenue, right? And, you know... They're making money off of the sellers. They get a, they get paid off of um, like our sales and our commission. So currently, as of 2019, the platform has 2.5 million sellers, which isn't actually that's not much. So it it's been having around 2 million sellers for like the last 10 years or so. But listen, there are 39.4 million active buyers. So there, there's only 2.5 million sellers, 39.4 million buyers. That's really good for sellers. Isn't that cool? That's, yeah, no, that's really, really good. Sorry, I was just looking at the information. So wait, it says as of 2019, more than 2.5 million sellers sold goods. Okay, so there's more more than 2.5 million sellers mm -hmm. on there. That's still crazy because so. 39 people are buying, only 2.1 are selling. Correct. There's 39.4 million active buyers on Etsy. No, there's more than 2 million people selling, Michelle. It was just that in 2019, 2.5 million people sold something on there. Yeah. There's more than that. It's um I think it's a Yeah. I, I'm not sure, but I know it's more than two million. Um, but you know what? We could start. We could start. We can include that in the webinar. A yeah. little bit of background on it. We'll give you that information then. Um, we're gonna have to look it up. But um, yeah, and and Etsy is international. Etsy is an international platform, which gives you a big advantage as well. Um, Tootsie Avila said, compared to the billions in the world, right? Yeah, and we've had we've had customers in Europe order from us and be extremely happy and satisfied. So um, we're gonna, before we go, we're gonna open up with some Q and A. It's accurate, um, it is 2.69 million. That's the later number, which is crazy. 2.69 million sellers versus 30, 34 million buyers. So, so, but actually that's 2008 figures and 2019 there was 46 million buyers. I have a feeling it's going to grow. In 2020, we're going to beat that by a lot. So it's a huge <laughs> opportunity for sellers to get in there because now a lot of people are on eBay. Everyone's like on eBay. So Etsy is really the next eBay, I think. A better version, in my opinion. Yeah, so do you guys have any questions for us before we head out for today about, um, about Etsy? Anything, any kind of general questions that you guys have? that we can answer. Um, I know somebody asked, I can review what, you know, some questions were on the story. Somebody asked if you could sell shoes on Etsy. Um, yes, you can. Mm -hmm. So you could sell shoes on Etsy. Um, you know, Etsy's really all about, um, if you're a crafty person and a, and a creative person, you could sell a lot of things on there. You could sell, um, you know, you could sell things that you've made, but you can also sell digital things that you've made right um, you like it's crazy how much stuff you could sell and you can sell shoes now the ones that do the best on there are like the ones that are um, handcrafted so anything handcrafted unique and people pay up a lot on Etsy um, but for us like we sell mostly vintage items on there and one of our one of our friends recently sold a, a TV VHS combo um, over I think it was like two hundred and fifty dollars and I, you know, we've been selling our TV VHS combos for about like $160 on there. And so I reached out to her and I said, hey, you know, what made you price it at 
like 250, 260. And she said, it was just a, a wild try. <laughs> and I was like, okay, that's cool because that means we're underpricing our TV VHSs a little bit and we could certainly price higher. Mm -hmm. So um, definitely there's opportunity to do that because vintage items are rare, right? Mm -hmm. They cannot be remade. They're, they're unique and people are, and they're so trendy. They're so trendy with young people. This is what they're asking for, for their birthdays, for Christmas. Um, so right now is a good time to source those things for um, even to get your Etsy shop ready and growing yeah. if you want to follow that route. So Tootsie Avila has a question, two questions. What year is considered vintage? We have an answer that is 20 years ago from today. That's considered vintage, so that would be 2000, year 2000? Correct. Yeah. 2000 or earlier, yeah. And what is considered antique, that would be 100 years. So 100 years. that would be 1920. 1920 and before that. Yeah. Yep. That's a good question. Yeah. We'll yeah. Go through that. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Do we have a meme? We do. We have a meme. So if you guys <laughs> have no more questions for tonight, I'm sure you have more later. You can always DM us. Um, direct message us, <laughs> but I mean, I love like this meme is like always online. This is Oprah. Oprah saying you can become a reseller, and you can become a reseller, and everybody can become and a this reseller. This is the part where she says you get a car. No, you get a car. <laughs> you get a car. So now she's saying you can become a reseller. And you can become a reseller. Everybody, you can become a reseller. That mm -hmm. is so true. It's so funny because like I feel like obviously Michelle and I are so excited about reselling and we really do feel this way and I talk about it with my siblings all the time like hey you know you need some extra cash and then I see like a vintage DVD VHS player near their house and I'm like thinking about them. I don't call them or anything I don't want to push it on them but I'm always thinking like actually I just sent my aunt a message telling her hey there's a VHS DVD player down your street. <laughs> so, I mean, it's very appropriate to us. Hey, that would be a good service <laughs> for people. Yeah, it's so mm -hmm. funny. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, the th uh, Thread Barrel Mama said, uh, thank you so much for the information. Thank you so much. It's our much. pleasure. Thanks for joining on this beautiful Thursday. Um, Tootsie Avila says she is excited, but not everyone is as excited <laughs> as me. We That's are. Funny. We saw you in person, and you. we were excited the same. <laughs> We were excited the same. Third Barrel Mama said, glad to catch you both for the first time. Yes, thanks for being here. Hello, Glow Girl Glow. We're wrapping up, um, but feel free to watch our live again. Yes, and we will see everybody um, Friday tomorrow. Today is Friday Junior. Have a wonderful evening, and see you tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by.